Hello, glory be to God, dear church planters, dear listeners of Multiply. This is our podcast that always gives a word of encouragement to church planters. I greet you once again. I am your servant, Pastor Duty Claude BCP Director. In these 90 days of fasting, prayer, and church planting, I know that everyone is at work. God also is at work. I want to say a big thank you to you all. I want to encourage you in everything you do. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. I want to talk to you about reporting to your intercessors what God is doing. Reporting to your intercessors what God is doing. When we pray, we ask God for things. Certainly, God answers our prayers. What we see, pictures, photos, conversions, churches that have already been planted, that are answers to our prayers and fasting. I'm going to read to you a passage in Psalm 65, verse 3. The psalm says, Oh, you who hear prayer all men will come to you but before that verse 2 says with confidence O god you will be praising zion and vows will be fulfilled you see the psalmist knows that god answers prayer he said you will be praised and we will fulfill our vows because you hear prayer and all men will come to you here i give you the story in acts of apostles chapter 13 verse 1 2 3. now there were in the church at antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who had been brought up with Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were serving the law in their ministry and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, after fasting and praying, they lay hands on them and send them away. Here is a first act. Here is a first act. The Holy Spirit revealed himself to the Christians of the early church in the book of Acts. It was still the beginning of the church. By prophecy, the Holy Spirit says, Separate me, Saul and Barnabas. So they fasted, they prayed, they had confirmation, and they prayed for them to send them out on their mission. But look at what is going to happen in Acts chapter 14, verses 26 and 27. In Acts chapter 14, verses 26 and 27, it says, And from there, they sailed to Antioch, from where they have been commended to the grace of God for the work which they have accomplished and when they have arrived they call the church together and declare how great things god has done with them and how he have opened the door of faith to the gentiles let me tell you that testimony must be told the hand of god the results of our prayers of fasting must be told to our intercessor so that they will be rejoicing so that they have joy 
they will honor God. There are vows that people make. Oh God, if you do this, I will do that for you. I will do this. There are vows in secrets. And the psalmist in Psalm chapter 65 says, we will fulfill our vows because we know that, oh God, you hear prayer. That is going to bring all men to you. This is what the apostles, Saul and Barnabas did. They went and recognized that the church was fasting. The church was praying for them. They went. God opened the doors of the nation. There were conversions. There were churches that were created. There were many testimonies of healings, of deliverance. And they were very, they were very happy to go back to Antioch to gather the whole church to give them the result of their prayers and fasting. It was a great joy. So the feedback is important to strengthen the faith and encourage intercessors. Brothers and sisters, let us encourage each other by giving good testimonies of what the hand of God has done. Let us report this to our intercessors. Report to your intercessors what God is doing. And it will be a source of joy, a great source of gratitude. And everyone will recognize the hand of God. And we will fulfill our vow, our vow to the eternal. God bless you. This, this was Multiply, our daily podcast. Shalom. Shalom.